guys, I'm Bethany. And I'm Kristen. And this is Looking for the Middle. Couch cast edition. Okay. Jazz hand. <laughs> I didn't even do them that time. I just said that because that's, that's my funny. voice. Okay. Are we ready for today's listener question? I don't know what to choose. <laughs> okay, ready? I Drum think so. Roll. Ooh, the nails that really make that more dramatic. Okay. What are some first date red flags I should be on the lookout for? Ooh. Ooh. That's fun. Does he monopolize conversation? Mm. That's a that's a big one. Uh-huh. He talks the whole time. Yeah. No. I get so annoyed. A lot of mine have to do with talking. If he's I'm on thinking, his phone a lot. Oh, good grief. Like, yeah, you no. Should, I think it's just respectful to not have your phone on the table. I was going to say, date. if it's like the 15th date, I don't care if he checks the score, texts, or whatever. But on a first date, you better be like focused on me. And yeah. I don't mean that from like a high maintenance place. I think that's just courteous. I'm going to do the same thing to you. I'm going to have my phone on Do Not Disturb in my purse because that's the kind courteous thing to do yeah unless his like sister's about to have a baby or something yeah and he's waiting for the te- like or, something <laughs> where he tells you hey i'm so sorry i'm waiting on a text from xyz yeah sure thank you for telling me you can most definitely yeah, keep an eye on your phone i had a first date with a guy we were long distance and we met in the middle for our first date and it went really well and so it was a lot longer than originally planned and I did not get my phone out looking back and also because of the amount of yelling I endured after this probably should have so I think that is an instance where you can be like hey let me text whoever and let them know that you haven't kidnapped me actually that's what I should have done yes, that's um, a tactful way for Bethany to say that uh, we all thought she died yeah I got in big trouble because I was having a great time and I knew I was fine I knew I was in no danger but no one else did and so uh you know two hour lunch turned into a six seven eight hour date and nobody knew where I was so I mean I looked at my phone at one point I had texts from Kristen Lindsay Melanie my mom missed calls I think from all of them as well and then I think a second text from a couple of them even. And I was like, oh, my word. I told the guy. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Give me just a minute. I have to let them know that I'm okay. Yes. That is definitely an exception to the rule. <laughs> or if you don't want to fool with it, share your location with people. That's true. You can also do that. True, but true. But that would be the only instance I would say that you should yeah. be on your phone. Otherwise, you can afford to not look at your phone for an hour or two. Yeah. Okay. More red flags on a first date. If he's If you're eating and he's rude to your server yeah or the red flag or whoever yeah um not a fan i think if he's really late unnecessarily Mm -hmm. or like not really considerate of time that's not okay Okay. because most of mine come back to talking if he talks about himself all the time sure when you're getting to know someone early like that you talk about yourself a lot because you have to tell them things about you but if you don't ever get the chance to do that yourself then that's not okay and then the worst first date I ever went on, the guy talked down to me the whole time. Like I was telling him about my job and what I did. And I'm like, I've been doing this job for 10 years. I know what I'm doing. And he was like trying to tell me how I was wrong. And that's not how you do stuff and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, excuse me, you don't know. So that was, that was not a good, good look. Yeah, no, I really look for if a guy can ask good quality questions. So if he's not asking any questions at all, and that kind of goes back to the talking about yourself the whole time. But yeah. the point of a first date is to get to know somebody. And obviously I'm not looking for him to just rapid fire questions. But there will be times in the date when conversation kind of lulls. He can say, so tell me about you know your job. Or tell me about you know what you like to do on the weekends. Or what's a hobby you've had for a really long time. Yeah. I don't know. Just random. Tell me about your family. Are you from here? It don't have to be these deep probing questions. Even no. a, 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 an appropriately thrown in, what about you, is good. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. you've asked him, hey, tell me about blah, 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 blah. And he does. And then just stops. I'm like, really? You can't even say, what about you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I would agree. Another red flag for me on a first date is if he is being kind of suggestive. As yes. far as from like a physical standpoint. Or making just comments that I'm uncomfortable with. I'm like, okay, you're wanting more than I am willing to give you. So yep. 
bye. Um, <laughs> on a first day, if he wants to hold my hand, if it's feeling like that's a good idea on both ends, or if he, we go sit somewhere and he puts his arm on the back of my chair, or things like that. Obviously, I've told y'all I'm not opposed to a first kiss on a first date. Other people are not. <laughs> That would be me. (laughs) That are present. But that has to be something that is, we're on the same page about. And if he is moving too quickly physically or if he is suggesting things I'm not comfortable with, that's a huge red flag for me because his intentions are clearly different from mine, if that's the case. Yes. Is there ever a context that you having to pay at all for a first date would not be a red flag? Because that whole no. time you were talking just then, I was sitting out. I was like, that's my next red flag. And yeah. I'm trying to think if there was a context mm. in which I'd be like, oh, no, I don't mind paying. And I no. couldn't think of one. Not if he asked. If he asks me out, I'm expecting him to pay. Yeah. And if he's asking me to go Dutch. Uh-uh. No. I'm sorry. If you, you should not have suggested to take me to this restaurant if you could not afford to pay for my meal. Yeah. Otherwise, you should have asked me to go to Chick-fil-A. Yep. Or go for ice cream or coffee. Well, I've got friends who, first dates, they didn't even pay for their Chick-fil-A. I'm like, uh, oh no. Gosh, no. Oh, yeah. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no. If you ask me out, I am expecting you to pay for a first date. And Agreed. And if you don't, there won't be a second. Same. So, unless there's just, again, very, I don't even, well, well, like I you thought said, of though. one. I okay, thought of a okay, scenario. okay, okay. He somehow left his wallet at home. Okay, yeah. Then I'm like, okay, which is like, okay, fine. Well, you owe me another one of these. Yes, exactly. If it goes well. <laughs> if it doesn't go well and he left his wallet oh, at home, I'm going to be so angry. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically the only. Me too. Only instance where I would be like, oh, sure, I'll get it. Yeah. But yeah, no, not a fan. Um, how do you feel about coupons on a first date? I've had oh, people I'm ask fine me that. that. See, I don't really care. I'm like, oh, you're being mindful of your mm-hmm. money. I don't think yeah. it's... I grew up, my mom used them all the time, Same. so it's just part of life. Like, it's not a weird thing to me at all. No, I don't think you're cheap if you use no. coupons. And I'm I'm real proud of all the things I find on clearance and, you know, that kind of thing. So, psh, no, more power yeah. to you. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't think I've ever had this happen, but I feel like I've heard of this happening. Yeah. Where he'll flirt with the waitress. <gasps> oh, that's a deal breaker. Yeah. Um, Which I feel like that's just kind of common sense, but. I feel like I've had pre-date first, like pre-first date red flags before in that he didn't really plan all that. Not that he didn't plan enough to my standards, but like I'm like a day or two before and I'm like, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know where we're going. I haven't like communicate that like that's point. kind of starting to be a we'll call it a pink flag it's not fully mm, red yet yeah. but i'm just kind of like okay or a yellow flag maybe would <laughs> oh man <laughs> yeah that makes more sense a yellow flag i understood the reference <laughs> i did no um that's a good point though that's one that it you're not starting at a neutral place on the date if mm-hmm. you haven't done that very well you're kind of digging out of a hole a little bit in my book. Yeah. I would also add on the post mm. side of things, when you leave a date, unless you are communicating at the end of the date that it will not be happening again, either make plans to go out again or at least say, hey, I'll text you later or I'll call you. But when you leave a date with somebody and they're like, okay, have a good night. And then I leave, I'm like, what just happened? What just happened? Did you enjoy yourself? Do you want to talk anymore? Do you want to go out with me again? I, and because as soon as I get home, what is the first thing everybody's going to ask you? Are y'all going out Are y'all again? Going out again? Did like, y'all make other plans? I don't know. Like, I don't know. And I yeah. feel so stupid every time I have to give that answer. And so give that clarity yeah. of either say, which I don't feel like <laughs> most people will do at the end of the date, but say either, hey, let's do this again. Yeah. When are you free? Or... Uh, hey, I'll call you or I'll text you later or I'll talk to you tomorrow or something that gives a clear next step of what's about to happen. Even if you're going to call them the next day and tell them, hey, I wasn't feeling it. Yes. You know, okay, something's going to happen from here. Yeah. But being clear on, if they're not clear and they're really vague about that, that's typically a red flag for me. That's a good point. Yeah. Clarity is so important. And I mean, 
for me it is to the point that I've been on first dates before where we get done and he's walked me to my car and it's like, okay, see you later. And I'm like, we had a good time. And so I've just straight up said, so are we going to do this again? Mm. Because if he, even if he's like, no, I don't want, okay. okay like cool. I'd rather be clear on that than have to wonder. try and figure it out. I'd rather be clear that it's a no than wonder. Yes. Even. That's so true. So can you think of any others? I'm sure I'll think of 27 as soon as we get done with this. I'm sure we will. But. I'm trying to think. I like the pre and post, too. I was trying to think if there were any others. One other thing as far as the pre-date yellow flags, pink flags, whatever you want to call them. (laughs) If, and this may just be a total personal preference thing, but if I don't hear from him at all the day that we're supposed to go out, I'm like, are we still? I I think it's just sweet to be like, hey, see you today at four or I'm excited about our coffee date or can't wait for dinner tonight or just something acknowledging like we're still doing this yeah is just kind it may not even be a yellow flag necessarily but I just think it's that almost falls into like brownie points territory yeah that's a good way if there were any like possible red flags it's like oh he made up a little ground there (laughs) yeah for him to just again be clear and courteous yeah confirming the date I think is a good step again just, not a deal breaker if he doesn't yeah but. just a tip to any guys out there that might be listening this is just a tip in general in all of life but it applies here too with the what you were just saying the less opportunity you give us to overthink a lack of communication from you the better off you'll be in general that's a great statement just in all of life trust me yeah so the more <laughs> clear you are the better you'll set yourself up yep I will leave you with that. Yes, good statement. (laughs) All right, guys, that is our rendition of Red Flags to Look For on First Date. There you go. Or right before it or right after it. (laughs) All around. All around. (laughs) That's so funny. Okay, guys, we will be back on Wednesday with another full episode and then next Friday with another couch cast. If you have an idea for a couch cast or even an episode topic, uh, send it to us. We are on Instagram at LFTM underscore podcast. Click on the link in our bio. It will take you to the form to send us all of your wonderful ideas because that is why we're here to answer your questions and solve your problems. <laughs> exactly. That sounded a little snarky. I didn't mean it that way. No. Anyway, on Instagram, LFTM underscore podcast. We will look forward to hearing from you. But until ne- next week, I am Bethany. And I'm Kristen. And this is Looking for the Middle. Looking for the Middle.